My name is George Tai, CEO of GeoVision. Uh, welcome, welcome to attend our first international workshop. Yeah, we have uh, we will demo some our current products with uh, advanced features, and also we will release we will demo the but but we will release this year or next year. So before we start the, the workshop, I would like to ask uh, all of you to introduce yourself yeah, to all the attendees, yeah, maybe from the left side. Yeah. Maybe for your company, where are you from or, or what? Yeah. Good morning. Uh, my name is Jason Lee. I'm from Optima Systems, Winnipeg, Canada. My name is Gary Storzinski, and I'm also with Optimus Systems from Winnipeg, Canada. My name is Bernard Yip, and I'm from Burncry Multimedia in Toronto, Canada. Good morning, my name is Stefano Stefani from Heza in Italy. Good morning, my name is Massimo Cosa, I'm here from Italy, from Heza. My name is Brandon Scott from Essential Systems in Louisiana, USA. Good morning, my name is Bob Groom. I'm from EZCCTV in the UK. Good morning, my name is Lila from Geovision Germany. Good morning, my name is Robert Lovato with Focus Micro Global Security Solutions in Seattle, Washington. Good morning, my name is Fernando Mortalla from Focus Micro Seattle, Washington. Hello, my name is Kim Chen, I'm from Hong Kong. Yeah, from Hong Kong. My name is Sam, from uh, Hong Kong and China. Good morning, my name is Guo from uh, Geovision, South Africa. Zina will introduce the, the topics of uh, our workshop. Hello everyone, in your hand you have the agenda uh, for the next few days and the agenda will uh, tell you uh, what topics we're going to cover for the uh, next few days. And also we do have outlines for the, for the course, however you are free to ask any questions if uh, you have questions during the session. In fact, this is the best time to ask questions because we have our uh, technical support uh, people here and we of course our boss is here and uh, also the engineer that writes the program that uh, is also here so uh, feel very welcome to ask your questions and uh, last one uh, in your hand is the checklist this is just a reminder for you in case you go home and um, wanted uh, to remember what have what you have learned from this course so these are the handouts for uh, for these three days thank you So I'll, hello, I'll pass my microphone to you. special new product for you uh, later in this session. Right, so um, let's uh, begin this session then. In this session, I'll be introducing uh, some of our current and new hardware. And first, uh, I would, um, I'll show you some of our current GV capture cards. <coughs> our, capture uh, our capture cards um, ranges from entry-level cards like GB250 and GB600 to uh, professional cards like GB650 and 800. Um, all cards except uh, 250s um, supports a lot of uh, our add-on cards and um, 
If you uh, wish to add real-time display features, we also have uh, GBDSP cards as an option. And for people who want the best quality um, um, videos and audios, we also provide our high-end combo cards, uh, which includes GB1120, 1240, and 1480. They support uh, frame rates from 100 uh, 120 frames per second up to 480 frames per second. And it has DSP feature uh, building. So um, uh, you already support real-time display. There's no need for uh, optional cards. And you can attach one additional TV uh, monitors uh, to these cards. And this is one of our uh, newer 1480 cards. It's shorter than the previous version. And we also have a DVI version. Um, basically, the difference is that um, it uses DVI connector instead of a D type connector. And now the audio, as you can see uh, at the button, the audio cables is now included in the uh, DVI cable. So there's no need to attach those uh, um, side cards anymore. Everything is included in the, on the cable. So that's basically the main difference between the DVI version and the D-type version. And here is a comparison chart of these cards. Uh, GB250 and GB2, uh, GB800 if you want to add TV output and real-time display, uh, like I said before, you can uh, use our uh, DSP card. And our accessories. We have GB hybrid card. It provides hardware-based video compression and one car is able to support up to four video channels. Uh, you can have up to uh, four uh, GB hybrid car in your in a system, um, which will give you a total of 16 channels of uh, video. Um, it's called hybrid car because it also um, adds four audio inputs to your current configuration. So let's say if you have a GB800 car uh, and which means which, uh, you only have uh, four audio inputs. By adding one GB hybrid card, you can get total uh, eight audio inputs. And the advantage of GB hybrid card is that it provides uh, low CPU uh, usage. A system with uh, GB hybrid card installed, four GB hybrid card installed, uh -huh. it can provide um, D1 resolution recording for a uh, total 16 channels, and it uses only 20% of your uh, usage uh, CPU time. And on the right, it's the same system without the hybrid card. And you can see, um, using the same resolution, all 16 channels, uh, you can only get about 100 to uh, 112 frames per second, and it uses. 60% uh, of your uh, usage uh, CPU time. If you want to get 30 frames per second full D1 resolution video, you've got to use our GB hybrid card. Our software encoder uh, only provides 30 frames per second uh, when you use CIF resolution. So if you're up to uh, high resolution videos, use our uh, hybrid card. So the new combo cards won't support 480 frames per second. Uh, you mean 1480? Oh, the new 480s? Uh, they are exactly like the uh, old 480s, except uh, they might be using different cables and they are shorter than the original one. And that's so, it. So you, but you're saying you won't be able to get 480 frames per second actually? You can get uh, 480 frames per second only on C resolution. And to get D1, you can use our uh, hybrid card. Yeah. Just uh, additional information from sales side. Uh, this is uh, usually uh, 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 
for the casino installation, they will usually require uh, the additional hybrid cars. So if you if you want to discuss how the, the details of the, the specs, we could do that after the, the session. This is mainly used for uh, for uh, 